In this lesson of mental jiu-jitsu, we'll talk about how your attitude determines your success or failure in life. What's up, everybody? Professor Scott Sullivan here with another lesson in mental jiu-jitsu, trying to train your mind for success, not just in martial arts, but in life. And today we're going to talk about a topic that is maybe one of the most important topics there is. It's about your attitude, how your attitude determines your success or failure. Here's the thing. Your attitude is super important, number one. And number two, your attitude is completely within your control. You can control your attitude. So if your attitude is important for anything you want to do in life and, and be good at it and be successful, and that's completely within your control, you control, you control your own attitude that's a big deal. So this is a really important topic. So let's talk about how your attitude is what's going to determine your success or failure in life. What is attitude anyway? Well, you could tell, I tell my students this, our attitude is how we think about things in a way that affects our behavior. Our attitude is how we think about things in such a way that it influences what we do. It influences our behavior. And it's been said, rightly so, I think, that our attitude is the main force that determines our success or failure in life. Attitude is the foundation. How you think about things in such a way that determines how you behave. It determines on what you do. So your attitude, super important. Your attitude matters precisely because... It determines what you decide to do. Your attitude determines what you do and what you don't do. And what you do or don't do is what determines your success in life. You see what I'm saying? Attitude couldn't be uh, any more important. So if you get nothing else out of this video than this, take this home with you. What, it's what you do or don't do that makes the biggest difference in your life. It's what you do or don't do that makes the biggest difference in your life and your attitude is what determines that. All right. So let me give you some, some important pointers. You want some rules about having a good attitude. That's what we're trying to go for here. Having a good attitude because people with bad attitudes do destructive things. They do. People with bad attitudes like, oh, I don't want to go to work. Oh, I don't want to go to school. Oh, I don't want to do my homework. Bad attitude, right? And they do, they do destructive things like not go to work, not do their homework, get on drugs later in life. Who knows, right? So we want to have some rules about how do we form a good attitude. So here's some rules you need to know about attitude just, just out, of the, out, of, out of the gate here. Rule number one, our attitude determines our approach to life. Our attitude determines our approach to life. How we think about things, like I said, is how we decide to act. And our actions are what determines success or failure or anything else. Rule number one. Rule number two, our attitude determines our relations with other people. Nobody likes to hang around somebody with a bad attitude. So your attitude determines how well you get along with others. Right? Number three. Usually, almost always, honestly, our attitude is the only difference between success and failure. Think about that. Our attitude, usually, not always, but usually, it's our attitude that makes the difference between success and failure. I'm not sure it gets any more important than that. So having a good attitude then, it's more important than being smart. It's more important than being talented. It's the attitude that really, really matters. I don't care if it's school. I don't care if it's relationships. I don't care if it's in business, your career. It's your attitude. And again, you're in control of that. You can control your attitude. But I think the first thing I want to get across to you guys here watching this video right now is how important it is. How important your mindset or your attitude is for success in life. That's why I'm giving you these rules. All right. Uh, rule number four. Our attitude at the beginning of a task is going to affect its outcome more than anything else. Our attitude at the beginning of some task, whatever it is you're going to do, your attitude about it 
is what's going to affect the outcome more than anything else. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a bad attitude about math. <laughs> There's my math homework. <laughs> I hate math, hate math, hate math. I got to do a math homework. Do you see how my bad math attitude is probably going to affect the grade I get on this paper? I just don't, 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 don't care. I don't even care about this math. You see what I'm saying? It's almost impossible to do well on this math assignment if I've got a bad attitude about it in the beginning. Okay? So our attitude at the beginning of a task is going to affect its outcome more than anything else. Rule number five. Our attitude can turn our problems into blessings. Our attitude can determine our problems, can turn our problems into blessings. Your attitude determines how you are going to deal with your problems. Hey, here, here's, here's some shocking news for you. You're alive right now, or you wouldn't be watching this. And in, this, in the course of your life, you're going to have problems. Problems are coming your way, okay? You're not going to be able to avoid that. But you're going to handle it better when those problems come if you have a better attitude than if you do not, okay? So your attitude can even take a problem and whoop, like a judo throw, boom, flip it over and turn it into a blessing. Happens all the time. So what I mean here is your attitude determines... Ex it determines how you're going to deal with problems, right? Problems can produce, can produce greatness if you face those problems with the right attitude, okay? Rule number six, our attitude can give us a very uncommon positive perspective. You can have a positive attitude, right? There, there, there are stories of people who have overcame great odds like because they had the right attitude because they had the right perspective on things. So having an optimistic attitude, an attitude that I can do this, I can be successful. It can, it can just give you, it, it could just change your life. Our attitude can give us an uncommonly positive perspective and that's a big deal. All right. So for all of my students here at Bam Bam Martial Arts, I have a handout for you on these the fundamentals of attitude and why an attitude is so important, or as I said at the beginning, how your attitude in life determines your success or failure in almost anything. I just have a little assignment. I have a handout for you and a little assignment here. If you do it, bring it into the school and you get a stripe on your belt, all right? Take this sheet that I give you, and on the other side of the paper, just give me some examples. I want to know what you think a good attitude is and a bad attitude is, and why is it good? You know, why is being positive, uh, why do we call that a good attitude? And why do we say uh, being negative is a bad attitude? So write down what you think uh, a good attitude looks like and why it's important, and why a bad attitude, what that looks like, and why it's important to know and, and not do that. You know what I'm saying? So on the other side of the paper, just give me some examples of a good or bad attitude, and then say what is positive or negative about them. 